how amalgam is made the simple answer for the production procedure of the amalgam is the amalgamation reaction and that starts when the silver particles tin particles copper particles and zinc particles in the silver alloy start to be dissolved by the liquid mercury and when they are dissolved then they will react and then after reaction the hardening or the formation of the amalgam restoration as we can see it clinically starts to begin and that is according to the following reaction the silver tin plus mercury will give us silver tin itself because the amalgam restoration hardens before all the silver tin is reacted and all of the uh, particles are reacted so that before the complete dissol uh, dissolution or reaction of the silver tin the amalgam hardens so that there will be some remnants of the reactants which is the silver tin or as we call it the gamma phase these represent 30% of the products and they are the strongest component of the amalgam restoration the second product is the silver mercury and the third product is the tin mercury the silver mercury comprises 60% of the products which is called as gamma 1 phase and it is the second strongest part of the amalgam restoration and finally the tin mercury which is the gamma 2 phase which is represented by 10% almost 10% by the final restoration the gamma 2 phase or as we call it as tin mercury uh, is composed from tin which is a uh, weak and uh, corrosive element and mercury which is a liquid so that of course because of that the gamma 2 phase is composed of two not so strong elements it would be the least strong and the weakest phase or part of the final amalgam restoration so that we always try to take off this phase and that is by the incorporation of copper so that the copper will react with the tin and mercury and prevent the formation of tin mercury previously that was happened manually but now the percentage of the uh, silver alloy and the mercury are pre-made in something called as amalgam capsule this capsule has a plugger this plugger is pushed then after pushing that we will introduce the uh, silver alloy to the mercury and then we put it in a machine called amalgamator we adjust the speed the time and mostly five seconds are enough to have a good uh, consistency of the amalgam restoration with without being over triturated or under triturated and then the amalgam will be ready to be filled in the uh, prepared tooth structure